Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer an app that is no longer available in the App Store from one iDevice to another. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be transferring an app from my iPad to my iPhone. And the app I'm going to be using today is called Luna. It's basically a VPN that allows you to connect to many different countries and it offers ad blocking for your iOS device, which is really nice because I don't think many apps offer this now. And this app was removed from the App Store like one or two years ago and I've been using it on my iPad pretty consistently. But I was looking into this and I was like, oh hey, I kind of want to get this on my iPhone as well so then I can block ads on both of my devices. But I was like, how could I do this because it's not on the App Store anymore? And then I looked up a few videos on YouTube and I was like, oh, well this is pretty cool. And then I came across this trick here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do this and it's honestly not too hard to do. And if you just follow along, you should be all set. Now let's start off with the requirements here. The first thing you're going to need to do and this is probably the biggest one, is you're going to want to make sure that you're signed into the same Apple ID on both of your iDevices. The second one is you're going to want to make sure you use that Apple ID to purchase this app. The third one is you want to make sure that you have a Mac running Mac OS 10.10 .10 and later. Or you can have a Windows computer, but I'm not too experienced with running uh, Windows, so that'll be a little experimental for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be using a Mac, so I would recommend using a Mac if you have one. But if you have all these devices here, and you have the Apple ID and the Mac, then you should be good to go. Now let's begin with the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go on your Mac or Windows desktop and go over to amazing.com and I will have this link down below. And once you're on this page here, you're going to want to look for free download and click on that. Once that begins to download, it's going to ask where you want to save it to. I'm going to save it to my downloads for ease of access, but you can choose to save it wherever you want. And once you have that location selected, just click on save. And it'll download relatively quickly. Once it is downloaded, you can exit your web browser. And you're going to want to go to the location where you downloaded that file. For me, that was downloads. And once you're in that folder, just double click on the DMG file. And now drag and click Amazing into your Applications folder. Now you can go ahead and eject the disk that was just mounted on your desktop. So to do that, just click on it and then do Command E. Or you can also right click by holding down Control and clicking and then click on Eject. And now go over to your Applications folder where you dragged Amazing to and open that up. Now it's going to say Amazing is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And you're going to click on Open. And now it's going to ask if you want to buy the full version of Amazing. For this video we're not going to need that, but if you guys want to do some other stuff with it and you'll be able to read about what that has, you can go ahead and click on Discover Amazing or check out their website, but like I said, for this video, you're not going to need to buy it, so just go ahead and continue with the trial. And now it's going to say to plug in your iDevices. And all you need to do for this is grab two lightning cables, one for each of your devices, and then plug them into your laptop. So go ahead and grab two lightning cables, plug the USB part into your laptop, and for me, I have to use USB Hub because Apple loves USB-C. And then plug the other end right into your first device. And now it's going to ask for you to trust this computer. And you want to make sure you click on trust or you won't be able to continue with the tutorial. Now it's going to ask for your device passcode. And on your laptop, you should see that the pairing was successful for that device. And it might be asking to back up now, but you can click on later. Now it's time to plug in your second device. Go ahead and grab another cable. Plug that one into your laptop. And you go ahead and plug that into your second device. On this device, it's also going to ask to trust this computer. Just click on trust again. Put in that passcode. 
And once you put the passcode in, it's going to say pairing successful again. And it's going to ask about backing up again. Just click on later. And now over on your MacBook or Windows device, you should see both of your iDevices in the top left corner of Amazing. And as you can see, you can see both my iPad and my iPhone. In this tutorial, I'm going to be transferring an app from my iPad to my iPhone. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on the device that you're transferring the app from. So hold down control and click on it. Then go down to manage apps. Click on library if it's not already selected. Then go down to the search bar in the bottom and type in the name of the app you're trying to transfer. Once you've typed in the name of the app, you should see it right here. And on this app, you're going to want to right click on this. So hold down control again and click. Then click on download to library. And you'll see a progress bar right below download. And once it's downloaded to your library, you should see a green check and you should see it's trash here. Once again, go ahead and right click on the app. And now click on export IPA. And I'm going to put this in my downloads folder just so I know where it is. But you guys can go ahead and choose where you want to save it. Now open up that folder. And you should be able to see the IPA file in there. And it's right here for me. So now what you can do is go back to Amazing and then click on Done in the bottom. And now go over to the device that doesn't have the app installed. And then right click on this, so control click. Then go to Manage Apps. And once you click on that second device here, you should see Device and Library in the top again. Make sure you click on Library. And down in the bottom, click on this down arrow here. And then click on Import IPA to Library. Then click on the IPA file that was just exported from your other device. Then click on Choose. And now it should show up in this library section here. So go ahead and search that app up. And as you can see, it's ready to be installed. Click on that app here. It should come up blue like this. Then click on Install. And it'll now say Installing One App. And as you can see, the app has been installed on my iPhone. And what's nice about doing it this way is that there are no profiles or anything you have to deal with. It's like you just downloaded from the App Store. I'll go ahead and open that up to show you guys that it's working just fine. And as you can see, it's been a fresh install. And yeah, that's basically it. And this works for pretty much any app that's been taken off the App Store. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to help you out. If you had any problems or anything at all, just leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll have the links for everything, like I said, down below. And really, the biggest thing you need is iMazing, and then once you have that downloaded, you're set to go. I hope to see you all again soon.